The following information comes from the essay titled Climate Change Summary at GuyMcPherson.com. It was last updated August 2nd, 2016. This video summarizes self-reinforcing feedback loops number 18 through number 20 in the essay with a focus on peer-reviewed papers and assessments from national level governments. Bear in mind that it only takes one feedback loop to ensure the irreversibility of climate change. Feedback loop number 18, according to a paper in the July 24th, 2013 issue of Scientific Reports, breakdown of the thermohaline conveyor belt is happening in the Antarctic, as well as the Arctic, thus leading to melting of Antarctic permafrost. In the past 60 years, the ocean surface offshore Antarctica became less salty as a result of melting glaciers and more precipitation, as reported in the March 2, 2014 issue of Nature Climate Change. Feedback loop number 19, loss of Arctic sea ice is reducing the temperature gradient between the poles and the equator, thus causing the jet stream to slow and meander. See particularly the work of Jennifer Francis, as well as an article in the November 20th, 2014 issue of the Washington Post. The most extreme dipole on record occurred during 2013 to 2014, as reported in the April 14th, 2014 issue of Geophysical Research Letters. This so-called polar vortex became widely reported in the United States in 2013 and received the attention of the academic community when the 2013-2014 drought threatened crop production in California. Extreme weather events are occur occurring as reported in the June 22, 2014 issue of Nature Climate Change. Also called Rossby waves, these atmospheric events are on the rise as reported in the August 11, 2014 edition of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. A paper co-authored by Francis in the January 6, 2015 issue of Environmental Research Letters concludes with this line in the abstract, quote, these results suggest that as the Arctic continues to warm faster than elsewhere in response to rising greenhouse gas concentrations, the frequency of extreme weather events caused by persistent jet stream patterns will increase. End quote. Regarding the Rossby waves, a paper in the April 24, 2015 edition of Journal of Geophysical Research Atmospheres includes this comment, quote, we also found a positive feedback mechanism resulting from the anomalous meridional circulation that cools the mid-latitudes and warms the Arctic, which adds an extra heating to the Arctic air column equivalent to about 60% of the direct surface heat released from the sea ice reduction." End quote. Francis's work was further validated in the August 31, 2015 online issue of Nature Geoscience in an article titled two distinct influences of Arctic warming on cold winters over North America and East Asia. A paper in Nature published online December 23, 2014 indicates, quote, the amount of carbon stored in peats exceeds that stored in vegetation and is similar in size to the current atmospheric carbon pool, end quote. The resulting soot enters the atmosphere to fall again, coating the ice surface elsewhere, thus reducing albedo and hastening the melting of ice. Each of these individual phenomena has been reported, albeit rarely, but to my knowledge the dots have not been connected beyond this space. The inability or unwillingness of the media to connect two dots is not surprising and has been routinely reported. Feedback loop number 20 Arctic ice is growing darker, hence less reflective, according to a paper in the August 4th, 2013 issue of Nature Climate Change. This paper spans the period from 1982 until 2009. 